So today I'm going to be telling you five very good reasons proving that programmers are actually the best. Looking at all the professions across the world, uh, we see that programmers are actually the best. Now, there's this kind of conspiracy theory uh, going around, making rounds that programmers are introverts, they are nerds, they are antisocial, they are recluse. Nothing can be further from the truth. And I'm going to explain that to you in a minute. This is simply what it is, is a conspiracy theory to demotivate, to discourage, to demoralize programmers. Why? Because people realize that programmers are actually the best, the best across the whole professions you see. Think of it for a minute. Take out programmers from the system. What happens? Everything kind of collapses. The, the program that powers the aircraft, the submarines, the, 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 the carriers, in fact, Everything is powered by some computer program or the other. So if you remove program, uh, programmers from the system, simply we have a complete chaos. It completes everything completely breaks down. But think of taking out some other professions from the system, let's say architects or accountants, people can actually still cope in, with life and move on. But let's now look at five good reasons what, what makes that makes programmers the best the best across uh, the careers, across the professions in the world. I'm kind of the genius, and this is a way I'm kind of motivating and giving inspiration to programmers across the world. And this is something I want to do because programmers are actually very busy. They work against they work against different odds to be able to get things on. Programmers are actually very busy people. And one thing we don't want is to always be discouraged, to always be demoralized. We want inspiration, and I'm here to give you this inspiration. If you are joining me for the first time, if this is the first time you're visiting my channel, hit on the subscribe button below. Subscribe so that you don't miss this daily inspiration. Actually, what I'm doing is a way that you can actually listen to me for 10 minutes every day, and you're able to move on, you're able to, to gain the strength you need to keep moving again. Because along the line, you meet challenges, you meet something that looks like a dead end, you meet hurdles that you need to overcome. I'm here to help you. I'm here to give you the needed encouragement, the needed motivation to keep moving on as a programmer. So let's now explore five reasons that makes it that programmers are actually the best across the world, across the, across the professions. You are actually the best. If you are a new programmer, if you are an experienced programmer, if you are a learning programmer, this is actually the best thing for you to do. The first one is, I actually outlined them, so you have a list of them below in the description box. The first one is, programmers are problem solvers. That is off the box. Programmers are problem solvers. Think of what programmers do. Every day by day, we are trying to solve problems of people, right? So have problems like, how do I manage data entry or how do I have a system that automates my daily activities? How do we have a system that tells us the route to go to our destination? You have Google Maps and stuff like that. So everything programmers do is a way to solve problems that people encounter in life, right? Like in my workplace last year, I was working with a company, I did a research internship. A problem they had was how do we, how do we evaluate in real time what developers are doing in a project. So they want a situation whereby whatever the developer is doing, they have a report of how much time he spent on the screen, how much time he spent working on a particular module, and that is going to be reported on a kind of dashboard. And in this way, the manager is able to do some evaluation and be able to know which programmers are, are, doing, are doing better and stuff like that. So, what, what programmers do, they solve problems. Think of design documents. Design documents specify what problem is there to be solved, what is to be automated. At the end of the day, end users or people generally, if they find it that they get an easier way of doing things because a programmer has solved their problem. And even think of yourself as a programmer when you started, the first thing you need to do is how do I solve this problem? How do I fetch data from a database? How do I display data on the screen? How do I make this data uh, display in a more presentable way? How do I, it's a series of how do I, these are problems, and keep solving them. I think if you've solved hundreds of problems like this across, across the years, I don't know how many years you've been a programmer, 
but you've been solving problems. So pro programmers are actually problem solvers. Reason number two, why programmers are the best is that programmers are far-sighted. So what does it mean? Programmers are actually people who are able to see uh, kind of uh, a little ahead of time and be able to, to, to plan what is going to happen. So think of developing an application. If you are building an application, you are able to envisage how will the end users use this application in six months time. What are the problems, likely problems, end users will have, and then you are going to solve them before it happens. Let me give you a little secret about problem, about um, being far-sighted and about problem solving. So being far-sighted actually relates to problem solving. Now, this secret says that the best way to solve any problem, this is something I've researched for, for many years, and I came out with this premise, with this, with this premise that says, the best way to solve any problem at all is to envisage the problem and prevent it from happening. So basically, you need to envisage this problem, you need to be far-sighted, see this problem ahead of time. When ordinary people or when people generally have not seen this problem, you're able to see this problem and solve it before it even happens. So you are solving a problem that is not even there. Before that problem approaches the people, you've solved it, you've seen this problem and solved it. So basically you, you are like somebody that owns a time machine, a, a, a time machine, uh, like you're able to time travel into the past, you, you zoom into the, you get into the time machine, you travel into the future, you see some problems, you solve these problems, you prevent them from happening before they even happen to people. So you, you are carrying the burden for the people, preventing them from seeing this problem in the first place. So programmers are far-sighted, and that is one good quality of, of, an, of intelligent people. You need to be far-sighted, be able to foresee problems, and actually solve them before they even occur. That is the best way, the easiest way, the fastest way to solve problem is to envisage this problem and solve them before they occur. Of course, there are problems that you can't envisage, we know, but for many other problems, you can actually uh, envisage them, be able to foresee them, and actually solve them. So they think of it, time machine, traveling to the future, traveling to the past, and solve problems, correct matters. And that's one quality of programmers that is very, very good that makes them the best. Another aspect or another reason why programmers are the best is that programmers are generally self-disciplined people, right? What it means is that programmers are actually people that are able to say what they will do and they strive, they struggle to make sure they do these things no matter what. This I can say about myself. For instance, if you look at my, uh, here in my office, you can see a, a board right here. I list out things I need to do and I have to do them. And behind me right here, you also see a white board where well, this is not a classroom, it's simply my office, my home office. And these are things I say I'm going to do and I'm going to do them no matter what hurdle I, uh, I, I uh, whatever hurdle I encounter, I have to strive to do them. Sometimes I sleep very little, sometimes I stay very late in the night. The reason is because programmers are self-disciplined people. Self-discipline is very, very, very important in life because if you are not self-disciplined, then most likely you will, not, you will not achieve so much and most likely you will have problems with people keeping your promise, keeping to your words and things like that. So as my reason number three is that programmers are self-disciplined people. So if you see a programmer next time, respect him. If you're a programmer, you deserve to be respected. Thumbs up to you, you are actually doing quite great. Another reason why programmers are the best is that programmers are focused and organized. Although it relates to being self-disciplined, but it's a little different. Being focused simply means that you are not somebody that works in a disorganized manner, right? So you 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 try to plan things before you do them right you you try to arrange how things are going to be this is how it's going to be here this is how it's going to be here if you are saying there's some some kind of place in our office you need to plan how things are going to be if you manage people that uh, is in some management role you play as a programmer maybe you've moved from programming to software engineer lead software engineer to a manager it manager i don't know you should be able to have a focused and organized way of doing things. You have lay 
down outcomes that you expect. So programmers are focused and organized right off the bat, right from the, 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 the time you start learning programming, you find out that you need to be organized because you have things you need to be learning from time to time. You need to make certain progress from, from this point to this point. You need to, to, to have some direction in life, some direction in your, in your learning experience, in your learning progress. You need to be organized. So that is one thing programmers are. So the fourth reason, as I mentioned, programmers are focused and they organize people, right? The last reason, which is very, very important, make no mistake about it, programmers actually care very much about people. And that is one thing we need to bear in mind. Like people say most of the time that programmers, they are, they are antisocial, they are, they, are, they are introverts, they don't like people, they, they are always alone. They stay on their own and, and stuff like that. That is very, very, very true because it may appear like that sometimes. The reason is because programmers actually may have certain problems they have to solve. These problems, they are not solving it for animals. They are solving it for other people because they care about other people. They want to solve this problem. So they have to spend some, lonely, some time alone to get this problem solved because they, they may actually spend time thinking of how to solve this problem and you see, at the end of the day, people we are solving this problem for comes back to tell us that we are antisocial, we are we are introverts and, and things like that. This is very, very not true. And that is one thing we need to keep in mind. We actually care about people. For instance, if I'm building a system, what I always ask myself is how will it be easy for people to use? How do I make this system uh, user friendly? How do I make this system uh, seamless uh, in, uh, to use for people for my end users so this is something to bear in mind uh, as you as you as you move across so let's now recap the first point I made is that programmers are problem solvers that's reason number one reason number two they are fast they are fast sighted like they are able to foresee a problem and solve it reason number three programmers are generally self-disciplined people right Reason number four, programmers are focused and organized in what they do. Reason number five, programmers actually love and care about people around them or people they work with or people generally. So based on these five reasons, I believe that programmers are actually the best, but there may be other reasons I omitted or there may be other reasons you figure out that makes that programmers are the best. If you have reasons, additional reasons, please leave it in the comment below. If there are also some reasons I gave you want to challenge, you think it's not true, feel free to let me know as well. Let's talk about these things, let's motivate ourselves, because as programmers we meet challenges every day, we meet difficult difficult uh, uh, activities, things that are actually very difficult to do, because the field of programming is changing every day, every day. You need to keep up the pace. Like I mentioned, the, I mentioned before, I learned Fortran and COBOL and BASIC. Now it became it's useless, almost useless. After some time, I learned C and C++. Now I have to move on as I learn JavaScript. Now I have to learn other things like other libraries and frameworks. I have to learn uh, .NET. In fact, you need to continue learning. So you always meet challenges you need to be solving. So we need inspiration, right? And I'm here to provide this needed inspiration. So if you are joining me for the first time, smack on the subscribe button like this video let's share it around as well let's get this message across as many programmers as possible let's motivate ourselves to continue programming to continue solving problems and in this way we can be sure that with time the world is going to see that programmers are really the best i remain kind and the genius